Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the Jax Dragon Ball GT Super Baby Vegeta. Certainly a very rare figure, a very cool figure, one I've had for a number of years now and uh, finally got around to reviewing it. A lot of people weren't a big fan of Dragon Ball GT. Personally, uh, I think most of it was actually pretty crappy. Uh, a lot of it though, and it doesn't make sense, uh, there were some great moments in the show. A lot of the villains I really liked. In particular, Super Baby Vegeta, Omega Shenron, and uh, Super Android 17, I think were some pretty iconic characters. Having said that, I think the GT storyline has pretty much been erased from history with the new Dragon Ball Super show. Um, but having said that, they still produced some great figures. This is one of them. Hopefully going to give you guys a, a cool review. In terms of packaging, he comes in the standard Dragon Ball GT style packaging. Nice shot of um, the fusion between Goku and Vegeta on the top left. It does say it comes with a free chibi. I have no clue what that means. Uh, it is though uh, 2 dollars value and uh, in stores soon. So uh, look at that. I get it before <laughs> anyone else. Um, yeah, really cool. I wish they still made these figures. Honestly, they're some of the, the best figures that Jax actually made. And this one is no exception. And taking a look on the back, you can see some of the really cool figures that were released as part of this set. We've got Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan Trunks, Metal Rildo, obviously baby uh, Super Baby Vegeta. And then we've got the battle packs at the bottom. We've got Goku and Raditz. We've got Gohan and Goten, and then Nail and Piccolo. So a solid series of figures. Again, real big shame that they didn't keep producing these because now the prices are just ludicrous. Ludicrous for Dragon Ball Z figures. I have no idea why they are so expensive. Uh, they are, I'll give you an example. The Omega Shenron is selling for four five hundred dollars and uh, i just I, I honestly don't get it but having said that let's get this guy opened up okay and here we have super baby vegeta opened up and out of packaging and honestly i think this is my favorite dragon ball z figure of all time uh, i really love the paint scheme on this guy uh, those that have seen the cartoon will know that obviously he is a tuffle uh, basically an alien parasite uh, baby that then uh basically just jumps from host to host and eventually finds his way in Vegeta and turns him into what I thought was a really cool design. I loved the Great Ape version as well. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, uh, PS2 and GameCube and uh, Nintendo Wii. One of the best Dragon Ball Z games, if not the best Dragon Ball Z game ever made. And uh, I always loved playing as this guy from that. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the face. I think Jax really did an excellent job with this figure. Definitely a uh, a really great design. Lots of nice detail, particularly around the face. One thing I really love, and hopefully you guys can see that, is the eyes. The eyes have got that metallic-y blue and white, almost, uh, I guess, like a, an android. You can see, obviously, the, the parasite. He looks nothing like... Vegeta, um, which is kind of cool because he's supposed to be his own character. I'll bring in, I guess, a uh, older Irwin Vegeta figure. You can see the differences there. Moving down, lots of nice detail on the uh, actual bodysuit as well. It's got that great yellow, black, and white color scheme. Taking a look on the back as well. Very nice indeed. Now this guy does have a little bit of a problem standing, so you have to be uh, a little bit tentative with him. But uh, having said that, a great figure. Okay, now in terms of articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed arms, ball-jointed elbows, swivel in the wrist, swivel in the waist, swivel in the legs, bend at the knee, and then uh, ball-jointed ankles. So a decent range of articulation, which is always good. Uh, because generally speaking, a lot of the Dragon Ball Z figures tended to be extremely limited in their articulation and what they could actually do. Just for size comparison, you can really see a difference between the older Irwin style figures and the newer Jax figures. The Jax obviously much larger and I think much better figures overall. Certainly much better value for money. Now in terms of accessories, he does come with uh, this. It does come with uh, 
the Dragon Balls. I think it's actually one of the better accessories that we've gotten. It does disintegrate. What the purpose of that is, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, certainly better than a lot of the other um, crap that we tend to get uh, as accessories. But yeah, overall, a really great figure. Probably my favourite Dragon Ball Z figure. If you can find this guy, I think he's well worth picking up. I wouldn't pay an excessive amount of money for him. Having said that, though, he is worth, I think, uh, a decent price. A really great figure. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review on the Jax Dragon Ball GT Super Baby Vegeta.